Now, when it comes to learning, Bandura devised his own theory known as Bandura's Social Cognitive Theory. Talk about a mouthful. But it's pretty easy to remember if you ask yourself, am I motivated? Let's see, let's write it out. Am I motivated? But really, this is a mnemonic that might make it easier for you to remember it. The A stands for attention. The M stands for memory. The I stands for imitation. And motivated it stands for motivation. The conceptual roots for social cognitive theory come from Edwin B. Holt and Harold Chapman Brown in their 1931 book, theorizing that all animal action is based on fulfilling the psychological needs of feeling, emotion, and desire. Social cognitive theory was advanced by Albert Bandura as an extension of his social learning theory. The theory states that when people observe a model performing a behavior and the consequences of that behavior, they remember the sequence of events and use this information to guide subsequent behaviors. Observing a model can also prompt the viewer to engage in behavior they already learned. In other words, people do not learn new behaviors solely by trying them and either succeeding or failing, but rather, the survival of humanity is dependent upon the replication of the actions of others. Depending on whether people are rewarded or punished for their behavior and the outcome of the behavior, the observer may choose to replicate behavior modeled. So this is Bandura's social cognitive theory and the four components of it, attention, memory, imitation, and motivation. So let's say I want to teach you how to draw a star. So here we go. Did you see me draw it? Okay, so in order to learn how to draw a star like I did, so you have to have an attention span long enough to watch me go through the movements of drawing the star. Not only do you have to have the attention span, you have to have a memory to remember me drawing the star. And what imitation means is you have to be able to imitate what I just did. If I were to ask you to draw it or imitate the way that I drew it, that would be imitation, and that would involve your memory and having an attention span long enough to do it. And then, of course, what it comes down to is motivation. If you're going to draw a star for me, you probably have the attention span long enough to watch me go through the movement. I'm sure your memory is good enough to remember me doing it, so I'm sure you're capable of imitating me drawing that star. But the question is, are you motivated enough to do that? And that's Bandura's social cognitive theory.